Hello, this is Rohit, and we will be solving the problem bidding today. Its difficulty level is cakewalk, and it requires observation. It appeared in June long one, 2022. Alice, Bob, and Charlie are bidding for an artifact at an auction. Alice bids A rupees, Bob bids B rupees, and Charlie bids C rupees. And we are given that A, B, C are distinct. So this means that only one of them can be a winner. And according to the rules of the auction, the person who bids the highest amount will win the auction. So our task here is to determine who will win the auction. For our input, the first line will be an integer t, which is the number of test cases. And then for each test case, it will have only one line, which has three integers a, b, and c, which denote the amount bid by Alice, Bob, and Charlie respectively. And for output, we have to print who will win the auction. And if Alice wins, we'll print Alice. Otherwise, Bob and Charlie accordingly. Let's have a look at the sample test cases. For the first case, we have a equal to 200, b equal to 100, and c equal to 400. These are the amounts which are bid by Alice, Bob, and Charlie respectively. And in this case, you can see that c is the maximum. This means that Charlie would be the winner for this auction and hence the answer in this case is Charlie. For the second case, the amount bid by Alice is 155, Bob bids 1000 and Charlie bids 566. So in this case we can see that the amount bid by Bob is maximum, B is greater than A and B is greater than C. So we say that Bob is the winner of this auction and our answer is Bob. For the third case, Alice bids 736, Bob bids 234 and Charlie bids 470. In this case, we can see that the amount bid by Alice is the maximum. So A is max of A, B, C and hence we say that the winner of this auction is Alice. And similarly for the fourth and the final test case, Alice bids 124, Bob bids 67 and Charlie bids 2. And in this case you can see that the amount bid by Alice is the maximum. A is max of A, B, C again in this case. And hence we say that as the amount bid by Alice is the highest among Alice, Bob and Charlie. So Alice is the winner of the auction and our answer is Alice. So let's have a look at the algorithm and also write the pseudo code. So we have three integers a, b and c. So we take the input and we calculate the value of the highest bid. So let that value be x. x would be max of a, comma b, comma c. And it can also be written as max of a, comma max of b, comma c. If your max function can only take two parameters. And then we check the conditions. If a is equal to x, so we now just go and check for each value of bid made by the person. So if a is equal to x and we know that a, b, c are distinct, this means that Alice has made the highest bid and our answer would be Alice. else if b is equal to x so if the value of bid made by bob matches the value of x it means that bob has made the highest bid and our answer would be bob else our answer would be charlie the last condition would be c is equal to x so this is our algorithm if you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer to your code, then don't worry, you can ask your doubt to our doubt solvers. So what you have to do is, you have to go to the practice problem section and then search for the problem which you are having difficulty in. Let's say the problem code of that problem is DNA storage. So you search for the problem, go to the problem.
and then under the ask a doubt tab you can go and ask your doubts and your doubts would be cleared instantly let's have a look at the c++ implementation we take t which is a number of test cases in the inner loop of length t for each test case we take a three integers a b and c which are the amount bit by alice bob and charlie respectively we then calculate the value of the highest bit which is x and it is calculated by finding the maximum of a b and c and we just check if x is equal to a then the winner would be alice because alice has bid the highest amount otherwise if x is equal to b the winner would be bob else the winner would be charlie the time complexity in this case is constant because we are just performing constant time operations